Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Human Geography course. Today we're going to be looking at tidal energy. What is tidal energy? Tidal energy is renewable energy obtained from the rise and the fall of the ocean's tide. The movement of the water can help produce electricity which we use to power our homes. There are two main ways to generate electricity using the tide. We're going to look at the first of which, which is the tidal barrage. This is a dam built in between the sea and an estuary. The barrage works as a dam. So this is what it looks like. We have this barrage which we locate in between the sea and the estuary to which perhaps a river is flowing into. So in times of high tide, what happens is the tide rises and the barrage opens its gates and the water can flow into the estuary from the sea. So at this point, once we have all of the water flowing in from the sea to the estuary, we get a big build up in the side of the estuary. Then the barrage closes its gate and blocks the flow of water when there is a lot of water in the estuary. Then what we're going to do is when there's a low tide, we're going to release all of that water. And what's going to happen is we're going to send the water back into the sea and the levels in the sea will rise again and the levels in the estuary will fall. So this causes the water to rush out towards the sea all in one go, which is going to turn a turbine connected to the generator producing electricity below the barrage. As it does so, the, turn, the turbine turns again and again and again, and we're going to produce electricity from it. The other way we can use and produce electricity from tidal energy is using the marine turbine. This is a turbine connected to a generator submerged in water. So what happens is that when the tide ebbs and flows, it moves the water, and this causes currents. So these currents are going to then become to force their way and force the water through the turbine, hence spinning its turbines. And as a result, of course, it's connected to a generator, which is going to produce electricity. These are the advantages and the disadvantages of tidal energy. The advantages are that, of course, it's renewable and sustainable and reduces the dependence on a single resource. Also, it doesn't give off any harmful gases, which is good for the environment. It also um, has low running costs and they don't require much management and it's um, pretty constant and there's always going to be a tide. Disadvantages, however, is that it's very, inexpen uh, it's very expensive to stall and it's going to cost a lot of money. Plus, it's difficult to install to build such a big barrage in the case of a tidal barrage and use it as a dam. And also, tidal barrages can interfere with biodiversity migration patterns, such as that as fish trying to move between sea and estuary on a daily basis. The marine turbines can also trap and harm biodiversity that swim into it, and as a result, that can harm them, potentially kill them, and that's a problem for marine life. Here are some questions on tidal energy. Answer these on another sheet of paper by pausing the video, and hit play for whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you did get all of these right, congratulations. I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on wave energy. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.